Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to our new guide where I show you how to get Rad Shield. If you don't know, Rad Shield is an improved version of Rad X where it actually gives you better damage resistance but also doesn't nullify your mutations. This is very good for endgame because you will have mutations by the, end, uh, by the endgame and you're not going to want to use Rad X because it will nullify your mutations. So Rad Shields is just end game. You need it. It's better than Rad X and I'm going to show you how to get it. So to get the Rad Shield crafting recipe, you're going to want to come northeast of the map and you're going to be going to Ala Emesis bunker. When you get into the bunker, you're just going to follow the route I take now on screen all the way down to the terminal. When you get into the terminal, go to research studies and click on Rad Shield. This is going to give you the organic solution quest and you will now need to do this quest to get the Rad Shield crafting recipe. Now that you have the quest, you're now going to have to go and find Ella's research. Ella's body is on the second floor of the house, just north of the bunker. Go to her body, pick up the holotape and put it into your pit boy. Once the holotape is in the pit boy, you're going to be going to the Strangler Bloom, Brighton. And then the tracking right underneath it. Once you have that, you're now going to be able to move on to the next part of the quest. The next step of the quest is to go and find the bone meal, which you will need to be used in the tracker. So you're going to have to turn on the radio tracker, go to the marked place on your map that says bone meal. And in that radius, you're going to have to try and find the bone meal. Now to find the bone meal, you will see a deck claw near it and you're going to be going to the deck claw's nest. So kill the deck claw, go to the nest, Pick up the bone meal and you are now moving on to the next part of the quest. Now that you have the bone meal, the game now wants you to go to dire chemicals because you're going to have to pick up certain items. Dire chemicals has these items are going to be marked on your map. So you're just going to go to dire chemicals and pick up all three. Now that you have all three, you're going to deposit them into this machine right here. And you're going to flush them with the command on the terminal. Once you flush them, you're now going to have to go and find a Strangler Bloom. You will notice them by the little glowing, green glowing light that emits from them. So you're going to go over, grab them, but make sure you have Green Thumb on because Green Thumb will be able to get you more than just one from it. It'll be able to get you two from each node. So put on Green Thumb if you want to mass produce these. And now the game wants you to craft them. Now that you're at a chemistry workbench, you're going to be going down to healing. You're going to see rad shields. You're going to make the rad shields. And there the quest is done. You can now mass produce rad shields as much as you want. So guys, if you liked what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.